Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Dear Bess, hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love Listen, my child, to this story of dreams and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the, the room I'm in, it's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more? Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls, and a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Om. Jet lag that's making me so sleepy. Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things, but then the scaffolding collapsed. And just last week, we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy.
I did it! How's that inlay puzzle coming along? Wonderful! But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. Don't work too hard. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. Um, yeah, well, now that you're here, sure. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but you've got to expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me.